Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and the Immortal Hulk issue number 23. Let's see if I can get you an anti-glare version of this cover. There we go. Well, look, let's just stay there. Let's just stay right there. Look at that. Alex Ross, baby. Alex Ross. Listen, this issue is called In the Face of the Enemy. You always got to get to the final page of the Immortal Hulk books in order to understand why it's called what it's called. Can't wait till you actually get there. Bam! Let's get talking about who made this comic book, then we'll talk about the comic book itself. Writer, Al Ewing. Penciler, Joe Bennett. Uh, Roy Jose with Bellardino Bravo on inks. Paul Mounts with Matt Mila on colors. VCs Corey Petit on letters. Alex Ross doing that cover, baby. How you doing? Oh, what is this? Dale Keown and Jason Keith doing the variant cover? Get out of town. Dale Keown's like old school art for um for uh the Immortal Hulk. Well, the Incredible Hulk, anyway. Uh let's see. And the Hulk was created by Stanley and Jack Kirby. So this is basically a bloodbath. This is a very violent issue. If you have objections to violence in comic books, what the frick are you doing even looking at the review at least off the channel at least off the comic book dude no get your curiosity and get the hell out of here all right go go freaking i don't know hug a tree or something like that this comic book is for bloodthirsty mother fatheads who want to see acid in people's faces who wants to see body horror and and monsters punching body horror type monsters and, and it's badass and like where the most normal person here is a girl who was told when she was a kid don't look at the hulk in the eyes yeah <laughs> that's actually um reprised in this you actually get to see the moment when it happened which is i gotta say man you're gonna do a callback this is the way to do it ah that, 23 issues in i'm still in love with the book I looked at the, you know, you go and you take a look at my On the Horizon Solicits for November issue, which just came out yesterday when, you know, I put this this video up. Bruh! Like, real talk, man. This comic book, dude. I already know what's going to happen pretty soon, and I don't care. I'm so addicted to this comic book, but it's a good addiction. It's a good feel, man. Check this out. We get to see pure raw monstrous power going up against not a branch of the military i guess they are kind of a sanctioned but you know underground branch of the military these are soldiers with as general fortian says discipline and training that's pretty much the definition of a soldier it's very different from a fighter or a warrior of some sort discipline and equipment a soldier you get to see that Sometimes that monstrous power just ain't enough when you got a whole bunch of people with a like mind as opposed to a whole bunch of people who are just, you know, let's just go in there and swarm them. Very bad plan. But as it's mentioned in here, you can never plan for the Hulk. This is another one of those sick comic books, dude, where you're going to see some people go down. And to me, to me, as an Alpha Flight fan from back in the day... I'm going to tell you right now, this issue, I haven't read True North yet. I haven't read Alpha Flight True North yet. I might read that next. But in this issue right here, issue number 23, baby, how you doing? Puck gets the best action he's had, I'm talking outside of a motel, that I've seen in years. I haven't seen Puck actually, like, get his in a while. <laughs> he's crucial to this fight loved this this was a really good book guys professor bill comic book university class dismissed